Python is a terrible first language for most people to learn. Let me explain why, because the internet crowd, this is something that frustrates me greatly as somebody with 20 plus years of experience who's been a software architect. The crowd says Python is exploding in popularity and Python is very easy to learn. And these things are true, but that doesn't mean it's a great first language. And in this video, I'm going to explain why. But we can't do this right without context. And the context I want to cover is the context of most people that come to me and ask me questions. They want to start a career in software development. And to start a career in software development, you need to develop a core base of skills and get your first job. That first job is so important because it sets the tone for you as a professional and it allows you to kind of explore different areas, front end, back end, things like that, and figure out how you want to start shaping your career. So when you're picking your first language, one of the most important things is your ability to apply to as many jobs as possible. And despite Python being super popular and easy to learn, getting a job as a Python focused developer is very difficult for entry level people compared to other languages. Now, one of the most common first jobs for people getting into the field are web developer jobs because there is just so much stuff that's on the web that it tends to be an area that is friendly for entry level people to join. Now, when it comes to Python, we need to talk about how it's actually used because web development is not one of the areas where Python excels. And I'm gonna demonstrate this using our friend indeed.com. And here we go. Let's do a search in the entire United States using Python as a keyword. And we see a ton of jobs come up. 65,553 jobs across the United States. Now this is at all levels. This is entry level, mid-level, senior level. 65,000 jobs mention Python. That is huge. But if you're new to software development, you probably don't realize that Python for web development uses a framework called Django. So if I change this query to be Python, specifically Django, and run this search again, that 65,000 drops to 1,600. So less than 3% of posted jobs on this job site using Python are focused on web development. So if web development is one of the easiest ways into becoming a software developer, Python is not the way to get there. So what about the rest of those jobs? And what about that popularity? The reason Python is exploding in popularity is that it is the number one go-to language for data analytics, data engineering, data science, and AI. The libraries and ease of use for Python make it easier for scientists and people like that to pick up on it who aren't traditional software engineers. It's also a great scripting language and you'll see it used in things like DevOps because of its approachability and its strengths as a scripting language, as well as the number of great libraries that you can tap. So jumping back to the perspective of somebody who's looking to break into the field, this is a big problem because data engineers, data scientists, AI, those jobs typically require an advanced degree to get into. So you need a master's degree, you need a PhD. It is not common, not impossible, nothing is impossible, but it is not common for somebody self-taught getting their first job to jump into a data engineering or a data scientist role. Now, the people that are in those roles now that don't have advanced degrees 
are usually experienced IT professionals, three to five years plus experience, who have made the transition into those skills. But they have a solid foundation and a solid work history, which allows them to do that. But even if the direct to employment path isn't great for Python, there are some people who still recommend it because it is easy and they say, hey, it's easy. You'll get writing applications quicker than you will in other languages. Well, let me tell you something about syntax. Syntax is challenging for everybody when they start out. That's just something you have to go through. The harder part is learning to think like a developer and architect your applications professionally. That is the part that a lot of the tutorials and everything are missing when you're out there trying to learn on your own. Now, transferability. Python is different than a lot of the other really popular languages, the way it structures its code, the way it approaches problems, the way it defines things. Transferability is the number one feature of a language that I look for when recommending a first language to beginners. Because if you learn a language that has high transferability, then once you master it, learning other languages becomes much easier. And the languages with the highest transferability are the C-based languages. C, C++, Java, and C Sharp. If you learn one of those languages well, learning the other ones in that group is very easy. And if you learn how to structure applications professionally using those languages, then picking up something like Python or JavaScript after that is very easy. I can tell you in my professional career, I learned Python in about a week because I had all this structure and knowledge of other programming languages that C and C Sharp and Java drilled into me. I learned JavaScript in about a week because of that transferability. Once you learn those core concepts, the second, third, fourth, fifth language is very easy to learn. So going back to Python, since those roles like data engineering and DevOps and things like that aren't very entry level friendly, Python is a good language to learn, but I'm of the opinion that it should be your third or fourth language that you learn you should focus on something that has more jobs and teaches you better structure and has higher transferability than Python does. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you do your research and you agree that learning a C-based language first is a good path, then you should head on over to skillfoundry.io. That is where I keep my courseware. I have over a decade of experience teaching people how to code professionally, and it shows in the content and the community. I'd love to see you over there. Happy coding.